This is the second part of the C Leda versus Best God game on the map Geometry. So now we see that the Best God is going to start taking this advantage of defeating the Terran tank push by uh, starting to do his own reaver harassment drops over here. Leda did not expand, which is also something that's quite uh, quite surprising. Usually you want to take advantage of d putting on that early game pressure and so you would take an expansion there. But we see the Shagoons are going to come in and take out that tank and then retreat. Very nicely played because the tank is the only thing that really can damage those Shagoons very much. And uh, Reaver is going to be unloaded, so these uh, SEVs are going to be forced to run. Uh, tank is going to be sieged here, so this will protect the mineral line slightly. But uh, these ter this SEV over here will be able to be um, shot at. And um, he managed to cancel the turret just in time. But another tank is going to be unloaded there. Something I'm, that I'm very worried about this is that these bases are quite large and we're probably going to see a lot of stray buildings, maybe tech buildings that aren't protected by siege tanks. Those are probably going to be picked off by this reaver. The reaver is going to start pressuring Leda into s staying in his base, which you see is already happening right now with all these sieged tanks in these areas. And it's definitely going to be pretty hard for Leda to defend because those factories that he has aren't very well defended either and um... best god is going to take advantage of this and make a second expansion uh... this will be very good for his late game economy and if he does manage to survive keep that thing alive that expansion will really really help in late game um, so this reaver is still going to be able to come around and start doing some harassments uh... it's just going around looking for what's going on, what the tech is, and as I said before, these stray units are going to be able to pick, be picked off. As I said, that SCV that was building a supply depot was also um, picked off. And so, it's very well played by by Best God. He's just going to be able to do quite a large amount of damage slowly with this one reaver while he macros up and gets his real army up. That will probably consist of Dragoons and Zealots. So right now we see more and more tanks coming in and sieging at Leda's main. So he's definitely not going to be able to survive a uh, attack at his natural if it is large enough. We also see that he definitely is not going to be able to attack either. So which is why, uh, which is why uh, Best God is deciding to get his own nat his own second expansion. And Best God is doing a very nice job of killing all scout SEVs that try and come out. This is very good because this way, that second expansion that is relatively undefended at this point for Best God is not going to be scouted and attacked. But I don't know why because uh, Leda right now is pretty much turtling. And a very nice usage of that Zealot to lure that tank shot. And uh, this Reaver is going to try and do as much damage as possible. Pretty nice micro by Best God there. So. Uh, this is definitely not good, looking good for Leda. We see a large amount of units there. That's pretty big. And um, with that macro advantage by having that extra base, definitely Best God is going to be able to get a lot more units. And we see pylon walls over here, so it can't that second expansion can't be harassed with vultures. So finally we see some more factories coming up. That was what I was worried about. He really didn't have enough factories. But uh, Leda does not have the economy that he should have right now. And he's definitely turtling, turtling in right now. So this is going to be very bad for him. He can't really do anything. He can't start pressuring uh, Best God because he has to stay in his base to take out that reaver. I'm not sure why, but I think a couple of marines would be pretty useful in this part of the game and just be able to shoot down that uh, that shuttle. Um, I mean, if it had some tank support and two or three marines, that shuttle would go down. And if a reaver was unloaded, the tank would just start shooting it. So I really think that Leda has to kill that shuttle and start beginning his own push right now. But this po at this point in the game, it's kind of a little bit too late because of the macro advantage that Best God has right now. So definitely not looking good for Leda right here. He has to win a decisive battle. And we see he's trying to push now, and he is going to be flanked on the other side. He's using the high gr ground advantage, but these zealots are going to run in and take out as many tanks as possible. These dragoons are going to pick everything off and kill them later. And now these this whole army that Leda has is also going to go down. And uh, we still see a pretty large amount of units that Best God has. They have uh, speed legs, and there's only a couple of vultures here in a, b a bunker. And uh, mines are being unloaded. 
But with that attack, uh, the main is undefended. So, so the Reaver can start picking off uh, probes, or stray SCVs, and even the ones in the SCV line. So these SCVs were trying to uh, repair that bunker, but they were killed. And there's still a lot of Dragoons here. These Marines, uh, there's no Marines left, there's no tanks left, except for one. And all these Vultures are starting to go down. Uh, we saw that there's a lot of Reavers going down, or there's a lot of SCVs going down. Uh, these, this Reaver still is doing a lot of damage. All these SCVs are going to have to run to this base, but there's an attacking force over there. That Reaver finally does go down, but it did take out a lot of units, and we see that the expansion natural for uh, Leda is going to have to be evacuated right now, and he's going to have to lift his units and his buildings. So right now, uh, he's going to desperately try and save his uh, main by defending at, defending at this very teeny choke right here, which is something that's also advantageous to uh, Terran, since it's a very small choke and hard to get in. But we see that he only has a vulture, uh, actually he only has a tank now, and these dragoons are going to push in and kill off all these SCVs. We see three tanks left actually, but these tanks are doing splash damage to their own SCVs. Leda is losing a lot of SCVs right now, he only has a couple left, and I'm not sure if he has anything mining at this point in the game. We see that best god, all he has to do right now is continue to pump units, and he will be able to destroy uh, Leda. Uh, Leda has already have a crippled economy right now. And Best God is also going to take another expansion at the top right, it seems. So, the, this tank is going to try and do as much uh, protection as possible. And the Vulture is also there. But all the SCVs have been picked off. And definitely, Leda is going to have to... Um, he really can't do anything at this point. He does not have any SCVs left. I'm uh, not sure what he is doing. And it is GG! GG! So right now we saw that Leda did lose due to due to a poor economy and not be able, being able to fend off that reaver. So thus allowing Best God to expand and get his macro very much um, higher. We see that Best God really didn't do much damage with that reaver, but it kept Leda in his base and efficiently led to uh, Best God winning the game. So X STX Soul has won this pro league match three to one. First appearance of Best God, very nice. OGN Sparkies does lose with only one win. So Best God did play very well, and GG.